We're here with Harlan, our entertainment correspondent. And Harlan, how have you been? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You know what I was watching before? I was watching some old footage from the Apollo and also from Star Search. Do you remember those great shows? I do. I actually auditioned for Star Search. Did you really? Were you on with Leanne Rimes? Uh, yeah, that's that's when I was on. Yeah, but I did. I did audition for Star Search. So. That's awesome. I was just thinking how, like, you know, the Jackson 5 was introduced, you know, to the world at the Apollo. You know, before there was all this worldwide internet and all these things. And the greatest thing about our next guest, he was on both those shows and American Idol. Really? <laughs> yeah. And here he is. Here he is. We're How's here with Joe Morena. Joe, hey, what's going on, brother? How are you? Good, good, good to see you, Joe. Good have have you been? Thanks. Cool. So tell us about your new band, if ever. My new band. We just dropped on iTunes two weeks ago. Okay. So it's been a while. You know, I was on season four of American Idol, so yep. it's been a while for me to get my uh, music out. And we just dropped. We have about uh, five songs on there. We're getting ready to shoot some music videos for them and uh, set up some tour dates and stuff. Oh, that sounds like a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Did, did you watch Idol this past season with the new judge, with this Kara? I did a little bit. What'd I you did. Think? I think she's great. Mm -hmm. I think she's not really necessary for the show. I think they kind of like jumped the shark a little bit with her, but I think she's great. Right, I jumped the shark a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what was what was your craziest? You know, I mean, American Idol is, is humongous. What was your craziest like post Idol experience? Were there, were there crazy bands? Was there any landing in MacArthur? Really? Yeah. There was hundreds like, of people there when oh, I got really? home. You know, when you're away, you're in LA, you don't get to talk to many people because you have they have you in a bubble. You know, right. so then when the bubble pops and you're here, and I heard that it was crazy here on the island. You know, yeah. but. That was probably the most exciting moment for me. Was that, as that, you know, that minute walking in and seeing all those people—people people I knew, people I never knew, you know—and getting my life back on track and doing what I've always wanted to do, which is be an artist and work with my band and stuff like that. You were like that, the Beatles landing at JFK. Kind of felt like that a little bit. That's awesome. for a hot minute, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, dude, Showtime at the Apollo, mm -hmm. Star Search, American Idol. I American mean, you, Idol. you are the essence of pop culture. You think? That's awesome. That's yeah, a lot of pressure. Of course pressure. you are. <laughs> I don't of know. Of course you are. Yeah. I just want to know what is your absolute favorite uh, song on your CD. On our CD? Yeah. It's If Ever. It's okay. If Ever in the name and of it. And who wrote it? Yeah, I did. And what is it about? I had a friend, Chrissy, that passed away of leukemia a couple years ago, and I wrote the song for her, in memory of her. So let's take a listen. <sighs> Thanks for asking me that. You're welcome. Thank you. God bless. Thanks. Thank you, brother. Thanks. Good to see you. <laughs>